So let's say you have a character and you want some motion capture to put on him from LiveLink. You want to be able to drag him in the scene, select the subject name, you have your, your LiveLink streams, uh, it's too uh, slow and steady, right? Okay, so he's grabbing this LiveLink stream, running slow and steady. You want to bring him in again, and this guy, you have another LiveLink stream, and it's fast but stops. Right? So we have two streams coming in, and we want to easily you know, assign whichever live links setup we want without having to go in and go into an Adam Blueprint and change the live link uh, input. So, so here, uh, something that a lot of times you needed for um, virtual production. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. Uh, one of the key things is these characters have no Adam Blueprint, right? It's just all being controlled right from the the, uh, the main details panel. So let's show you how to do this. First thing we want to do is to create a new actor blueprint class. We'll call this blueprint live link. And all we need to add to this is a skeletal mesh. This is going to be the character that you move around. We're going to keep it simple and uh, use many again. And there's something called an on anim initialized event. And this gets triggered every time the animation gets initialized. And this can happen in the in the scrubbing of the timeline. This can happen when you're changing things in the details. So this is very handy for uh ways to uh to set up properties. So we're going to cast this to something called a live link instance. Okay. And this is basically an Anim Blueprint. We're going to set it here. Anim Blueprint. It's, you've probably seen this a million times and never actually knew what the heck it was. It's basically just an Anim Blueprint that has a live link stream that comes in and um, applies it, right? So this can be any skeleton, can be any live link stream. Uh, you need to make sure your live link stream is looking at the right skeleton that you're applied here, but it it's um, not locked into a specific skeleton. So this is very handy to put on any mesh that you might want to put any sort of animation on. So we're going to get the anim instance, and we're going to plug it in here. And then we are going to uh, call one of the functions of set subject, right? And this is going to create the subject name. So this is where we are going to make this a variable. And this will be the subject name when we'll make it uh, public. So this is where you're going to choose on your actor what live link stream is coming in. Now we also have to set retarget asset so that it knows how to apply those bones, but that'll get set automatically. Um, and then here's a cool uh, function called update set update in animation editor. And this make this true. This is what allows your bones to animate and move uh, in editor, not in play. Now this most you know for games it's not critical. You're in play, but for a lot of virtual production things happen in the editor, right? So uh, it's using that same one, but we can just have the same. So. So this will basically allow things to animate uh, with the live link stream without hitting play, right? So compile, save, looks good. So we drag this in the scene. Uh, in another version of Maya here, I have got uh, just two live link streams coming. This character runs uh, fast, but he stops, and this one is slow and steady. Uh, so they're just two different live streams that I can hook up to. And we see our subject name. We can see the live link running, and we can either choose slow and steady uh, or fast but stops. And if you notice, just to prove that it's a live link stream, uh, I can uh, I can scrub, and you can see it's uh, it's getting there. You know, I just use this so it's approximating like a. Uh, animate a motion capture stream, right? So this is just a way for me to play with this live link stream. But uh, so you know, the nice thing about this is you don't have to go in and modify any uh, animation blueprints. 
you can copy it and uh, set them set them to be the same or different and uh, hopefully this uh, makes your productions a little easier to deal with. Good luck.